the illuminated part of the moon was coming to full effect. For the full moon will be visible in its brightness. As the sun brightens the entire moon, this particular moon cycle signifies release and intentions. For intentions most times can be priceless. For Lenny Griffith, nothing will stop him from getting what he wants from Anton. Lenny Griffith, a retired football player and life hasn't been a bed of roses. It's like he was destined for bad fate as everything around him was falling apart and it was suffocating for he was losing his grip to the things that means the world to him. He was desperate. Apart from his wife passing away a few years ago, his only son Jaren was dying and losing his grip to life. This had cost Lenny a lot and I mean financially but to make matters worse for him, his sister-in-law Nora, who is the sheriff of the town, was threatening to use every power to take custody of Jaren, for she believes Lanny was not capable of taking care of his son, in which he saw as an insult and backed at Nora for her condescending behavior towards his personality, and this resulted into a hot argument. In the woods, the same place Lani's wife died was a report to Nora that another dead body had been found and Nora had to go to the site of the murder. What she discovered was the dead body of a man who was killed but there was more to the killing. It was an unusual murder case. It was strange and unique. For what killed him was not human. It was beast-like. It was ravenous and ferocious. For Nora noticed and observed that the victim was first wounded then chased by the killer before making the kill but what made this killing more interesting was that the victim was ravenously consumed which doesn't seem like the traits of a wild animal or man for this was stranger than fiction this looks like the trait of a beast as this has been going on for the past few months in fact this individual is the fifth victim without leads or any clues. In all truthfulness, Lenny Griffith will take his son's place at the drop of a hat, for that was a father's love for his son. Jared could see the worrisome of his father, even though he keeps a brave face, for his finance was nothing to write home about. His house is facing foreclosure, and he was swimming in debt, for his pride will not allow him to be humble enough to take any help from Nora. Apparently, there was a bounty on the serial killer who had been devouring its victim and seeing this as an opportunity to go on the hunt for this killer in the forest for he needs the money for his son's medical treatment. Asking his nanny to look after his son while he goes on the hunt, his nanny's son, Shay, warned him to be careful for when she was driving on her way to his house most parts of the forest was very dark, especially the factory built nearby. As he searched for the beast in the dark forest of the night, without fear, he came to a halt, for the beast was nowhere to be found, as he had searched every nook and cranny of the forest. In frustration, he decided to give up the hunt and go home. As he was driving home in the twilight, disappointed, Suddenly, he rammed his car into something which shattered the front side bonnet of his car causing him to hit his face on the steering, bleeding from his nose. As he looked up straight ahead, their eyes met but he was shocked and surprised. There was a pause. The beast fled the scene of the accident as Lanny picked up his gun and chased after the beast. It was fast on its heels, but Lanny Griffith was prepared and determined. Following its trail, not knowing where it was, he got a surprise attack from the beast which struck him and tore into him as his chain which had his championship ring fell to the ground. Seeing the beast running away in the blistering cold, he cocked his gun 
aimed at the absconding beast and shot it at its back as the beast fell to his face. As he got closer to the beast, he was mesmerized as the beast transformed into a man.